male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, what's up, Patreon people? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I gotta, uh, I forgot to bring this up, but I wanna, we got Mike Kaplan here. We wanna take, I wanna shout out some of the new Patreon uh, followers real quick. I wanna thank y'all for uh, supporting us, man. It's just dope and dope. Uh, shout out to Kenny uh, and shout out to uh, DG, Marcelo, K, S, S. Uh, and Adnan Tuko, thanks for supporting us. Um, that's the first step of uh, credibility. Help the people that are helping you, right? So, um, but yeah, I was talking to Mike about this. So that, that the, the Mike, the process of me doing this compliment thing is that I don't. I also found that, and this this happened as I started creating this kind of program because what it, it what it does is it makes dudes more open just to speak to just be comfortable speaking it's like it's kind of like an open mic in a way you know what i mean it's a, it's a it's an open mic it, it opens you up and then when you realize um how much i, I don't know i don't want to use the wrong words but it's like how much power you have over ex, it, 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 um affecting people's lives in a in a positive way Oh, um, yeah, I, which is uh, standardly in comedy open mics, maybe not people's focus. So it's nice right. that this, you know, real life world open mic, uh, that it is focused on positivity, that it is focused on like on being on being honest and complimentary. Like right. that is that yeah. is a nice marriage of those two yeah. concepts, yeah. because I mean, in it is gratitude for what we have that can make us the happiest, like not the, you know, the sadness or the, the desire for what we don't have. Like, you know, we, of course there's always, there's always going to be some like in comedy, somebody who has more than you have, unless you're at the top, yeah. there's always going to be, but there's also going to be people who are happy to be where you are. Even if you've only mm -hmm. been an open micer for a year, that's more than you yeah. were doing a year ago. Yeah. And you know, there's could always be somebody like if you don't have a relationship, maybe you're always in, you want one you're looking at people who have them of course you don't know like what's going on in that relationship that exactly. you exactly. wouldn't want to happen but that you, we always have things that we can be grateful for in our own lives and that we can always find something about somebody else to be grateful for to offer a compliment about to be be mm -hmm. present with and be like you know even if it's just you know uh, I've been learning about Buddhism from a Buddhist friend mm. and their version of the Ten Commandments involves like it's not called the Ten Commandments, but they're basically the same kind of things like don't lie, don't steal, mm. don't uh, yeah. don't murder. But for every one of those, there's something like for don't murder. There's mm -hmm. murdering is bad, but there's two good ways you can do the opposite. One is just to not murder. If you're not hurting someone, then mm. th then you're good. That's absolutely fine. But you can also be helping people. You can yeah. be like, you know, if you're a doctor providing medical care or even you can give food to the hungry. And that is uh, an even extra bonus level that you can do. So neutral is fine, but mm. why not, you know, Might go above and beyond yeah. Yeah, if you have something to offer, if you have time and energy or, you know, money, whatever it might be for. But obviously, if it's just your your energy, your I thoughts, like that, your uh, Buddhism has like a BOGO, basically, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little, a little yes. extra, you know, do two for one, basically. Yeah, a hundred percent. I, I, uh, it, it's, it's an interesting thing. I, I always, sometimes, I don't know if I told this story before, but I remember I, at the time I was, I was dating, uh, Leanne Lord, right? We went to a huh. Italian restaurant and, uh, we, we, she was just hungry. So we went to this, this little funky Italian spot, like out in Far Rockaway. And, uh, we walked in and, um, there was an older lady there. Um, and she said, uh, and she was like old school Italian, like she had the mustache, she had the, the 30 year, uh, smoker voice. Hello. How are you? Uh, and we, I'll, let, here's some menus. I'll get, I'll be right back. And then I introduced myself to her and Harry, Harry has actually started doing this too. I said, Hey, how you doing? I'm Dante. This is, this is my date. Leanne is such, such, just wonder what's your name. And she told me your name. And then she kind of like rushed off and uh, she comes back like maybe like four or five minutes later. And she goes, you know, I've been, I've been doing this job for 30 years. She goes, I, uh, 
and nobody's ever asked me my name is most of the time mm. they don't even look above the menu and just thank you so much for just just at and and she was t- crying she literally teared up and just huh. from recognizing the fact that hey, you're a person and I want you to know my name. And now don't get me wrong, I had to watch, I had to see kids of her pictures of her grandchildren and the <laughs> you know what I mean. It got it got it it got extensive. But I mean, you know, it's it's those things where you um you don't even realize just this gesture, how this little small gesture can mean so much you don't know what people are going through and just man just me going i see you and i want to know your name tell me your name so i can address you as a human being and just she teared up i mean we got extra bread and garlic bread (laughs) But, (laughs) but i mean that wasn't my intention it was just you know just i think when you act that way and and it's funny like harry and i talk about this all the time it's just you know like you know a lot of times you know like Chappelle will be his birthday was just here, right? And every time Chappelle comes out, um, Chappelle smokes two packs of cigarettes. He um, drinks a liter of tequila, smokes a half a pound of weed. And, and I mean, we're older now. Like, that's somebody who's self-medicating. And, you know, when you go, wow, you have it all right? But you're still self-medicating. You're, you know, I mean, you got a beautiful wife, you got beautiful kids, and but you're you're hanging out and 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 you're self medicating, and you go. I, I mean, uh, the other and and the other example, like you know, Kurt Cobain literally changed the face of rock music, j- the whole grunge scene. Then he put a gun in his mouth and he blew his head. Off, you know, just blew his head off. It's so it's like you 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 we have this idea of what the success is, and then you start to realize the success is really contentment in what you're doing and affecting people's lives and credibility and empathy for people and honesty and stuff like, because it literally makes you foolproof because if somebody tries to say something fucked up about me, right. My friends will go, nah, nah, uh, uh-uh. he didn't do that. Oh yeah. The, if it's whenever people criticize us, if it bothers you, there yeah, it's, it's either that it. there's something to it mm. or the, it's either true or it's not if it's right, not right. true they're wrong and it doesn't yeah. matter if right. it's true then thank you then oh i i, I didn't realize like, then maybe right. then fix right. it you know if you see right, where the right. problem is right. then then work on it i with Chappelle, i don't know how close you are like is that something that you've talked to him about about no the i self- mean i just was like an, an outside observation but i mean anytime you have this excess i you, you, you know it's almost like you you can't look at excess and not under, and not know that there's something wrong with that. Anytime that in life there's no balance, when there's no balance, there's a reason why there's no balance. You know. Oh yeah, and un- you know, as as much as I wish it were the other way, like we can never fix another person's problem. Yeah. You know yeah. that, like I love I love advice columns. I love advice yeah. podcasts. I love I love when people are looking for answers, looking right. for help, and then yeah. even then, like a friend of mine, my friend Gus is a therapist, and I asked him once, like he gives me great advice when I ask him for it. Mm-hmm. And I ask him like, what's the difference for you between giving advice to your your therapy patients and giving advice to your friends? And he says, well, I'd say that mostly my friends don't take my advice. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and that like you all of the motivation has to come from within a person you know to like to want our lives to be different to know that yeah. they could be better like i remember seeing doug stanhope one of my favorite comedians uh-huh. uh like probably 15 10 to 15 years ago when comics you remember comics in new york yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely uh, he did a sh- i think he did a headlining set and then he did like i don't know if it was like a pilot for a new maybe tv show but it was like uh, he talked to a therapist on stage like legit and the therapist would like show clips from his act and about drinking uh, to excess mm-hmm. about all kinds of things that he was using that were perhaps uh, avoidant in addressing mm. his own internal yeah. needs. And he, and so the, the therapist was like, I think this, maybe this means this, maybe if you're using this as a crutch or this internally right. and Stanhope is so smart and so like funny that he was able to respond in ways that like, didn't necessarily take everything the therapist was saying to heart seriously, right. but like, 
you know, and I don't know what Doug Stanhope's inner life is like. Like I know him a little bit and I love him. And I, I also, he is also a guy who like, you know, uses substances in excess of what most people would consider, uh, balanced. And, and so, but yeah, of course for him, like, he he gets to decide how he lives like they all everyone gets to decide yeah, yeah. how they live their life uh and and we can only you know do our if that's the thing that i learned that's really valuable is like if i see something that i think someone else should be doing i'm like well am i doing that am yeah. i am i yeah. taking my own advice to the best of my ability to yeah. because sometimes i might or we might look at other people and be like hey you're you're doing something that i think yeah. could be better at you know and that could be my way of being avoidant right 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 right, right. well i mean i think you uh like for me like one of the and, and I say this to the fans all the time is like doing consultations. And I mean, I mean Harry could probably speak to this too, because Harry started doing yeah, consultations. I, was, I, was just, I think I know where you're going. I was just going to say, when you do the consultation, sometimes you go, Oh, I got to remember to take this advice again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, like, yeah you really yeah. like, otherwise yeah, I'm a fraud thing. Man, yeah, I'm a like, fucking fraud. Like I'm telling you and I'm not practicing it. <laughs> it really makes me more diligent about, yeah. Because they, these people are looking to me for guidance and I feel that there's a level of responsibility that I have to them um, to, you know, to, 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 to follow my own advice and, and be in that space where I'm, I'm being better and better and better as, as much as I can. Oh yeah. There's a, another, I feel like this is like a classic quote that I forget where it comes from, but it's like when one teaches to learn, you know, like that, of course, you know, I think people learn this when they become a parent or if you become a teacher, like, you know, you, by helping someone else learn something, uh, you are solidifying it for yourself and maybe even hopefully, you know, learning it, relearning it, uh, strengthening it strengthening it within yourself and of course if you think it's good for somebody else to do if it, you think it's good this is a good way to live this is a good yeah, yeah. way to treat people yeah. like yeah uh yeah i remember but it's hard to it's, sometimes it's harder to see it in yourself like i had a, yeah. a good friend who was dating someone and they were like they were telling me about all the problems in the relationship and they're like what should i do basically and i was like well what if somebody came to you and and told you all that stuff they'd be like well i'd tell them to break up and i'm like well then look at that the magical answer to your question that's it's hard it's hard to see it when it's so easy So close to you it's it's close to you because you you can't you when you make decisions you got to not let you, you got to not have let emotion have a seat at the table because it's 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 a thing even with it you know in in mixed martial arts and boxing and anything if you're too emotional uh about what's going on it clouds your like i always say when you when you allow emotion to creep into it you you cut cut your your proficiency down to a third because mm. the emotion clouds your ability to make these objective and logical decisions yeah, I I think I I that sounds like a a very reasonable uh point and I'll add this to it that of course emotion has its place to yeah, I mean sure, we sure. we ha- we have emotions it's good to feel emotions like I'll add like maybe this is a an unnecessary analogy but like to, when I do psychedelics like it's good to do psychedelics to have the proper set and setting to have the right yeah. mindset and have the right environment like and you know so if you're in a place where there's a lot of upheaval maybe it's not the best time to take a psychedelic but when you're like oh here's where I am everything has settled here's another you ever hear this quote strike when the iron is yeah. cool oh, is okay. cool strike okay. so instead of like making a decision it's basically your, the point that you're making like right, right. of course strike when the iron is hot is yeah. one one piece of advice but strike when the iron is cool means make a decision app not when you're in the heat of emotion like experience the emotion then step back back. when it's cool to see what do you actually think and feel and then make your decision from that you know the iron is cool calm and collected in that place and what's the what's the destination you're trying to reach so it's it's a it's an interesting thing i had a guy who i was consulting with kids like 16 17 years old uh uh shout out to my boy Seleno. i'm really proud of him so uh I, he started doing the the, the five bricks thing and then he kind of came to the solution came to his own understanding that like what you were saying is just it wasn't about women specifically but he started doing it with people with security guards with every you know he would just became this social uh 
source of 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 kindness and compliments and honesty and all of these things. And so um, he said, uh, so he tell, he's telling me he's an art student and he goes, um, he comes in, he's got to finish a project. He runs into the, the arts, the art studio. It's like they close the art studio at 11 o'clock. And he says to the security guard, he goes to use his card. It doesn't work. Um, and security guard says, oh, man, you know, she, he goes, listen, I I really got this thing. I, I just need a half hour to 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 work on this stuff and I'll, I'll, I'll do right away. And so he went and did a half hour, uh, actually 29 minutes. He came out, said to the to to the um, security guard, man, thank you so much. And she looked at the watch and she was like. Like it's 29 minutes, like what? You know, like you actually did what you said. She, she, he, he goes, yeah, I understand. I didn't want, I didn't want to burden you with my stuff. And you were so nice to, to let me in. Cause she had to use her card to let him into the studio. And I just wanted to appreciate it. So is, um, his, uh, uh, he came in another time and he was running a little late and as he's going up the escalator, he hears the security guards going, oh, yeah, that's the kid. That's the kid. I tell you, that. like, so it's like just by him keeping his word. I mean, like the bar is so low. Right. His mom came to, you know, for visiting like this is his first year in college. And she was like, oh, you're his mom. Oh, you're such a, um, you, you raised your son. good." Like these accolades from for just. Just showing up when you see doing the right show right ripples forth, yeah, yeah. and and for so not it's... murdering somebody, just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not murdering, just, just not murdering, just just showing up, doing what you say, having the credibility of your word, which is such a rare thing for people to do. It's just, it's almost like it's you know that is a guideline, and when it's not a guideline, when it's what you live by, um, people are really surprised. That you that you have a code that you live by, and you, and not this not to say that we're pre, we're, we're you know nobody's perfect. I always say, you know, I always pursue perfection, knowing that perfection is unattainable, because you can't you'll never get perfection because as you move closer to perfection, it moves further away from you. It's sort of like the Swiss cheese. You you when you look at it from afar, you see the holes, but when you get closer to Swiss cheese the holes that you didn't see become more evident as you the closer you get to it, the more flaws you see and the better you can be, but you pursue it knowing that you're not going to achieve it. The, but the intention is to, to, I guess the intention is just to get better is always to get better to, I, I guess to pursue perfection, even though it's, it's unattainable. Yeah. To pursue it, knowing it's unattainable uh, is perhaps all the more noble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, and you, you, you know, and these guys who are kind of lost in this kind of um, male, female dynamic. And, you know, I mean, I mean, we're, we're both old enough to know the time of the, the pickup artists and all the, the you know, these guys are using neuro linguistics programming and body oh, yeah. language, which don't get me wrong. All of those things, they work. It's a, it's a way to communicate non-verbally and you can get what you want. The problem is, what doesn't come out in the wash comes out in the rinse. And if you're full of shit and you, if your intentions aren't righteous in the first place, then and and women find out they're the best at detecting it because it's literally your deceptiveness is attached to their ability to try and stay alive. It's 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 a trap attached to their safety. And so they are superb at it. The problem is when they like a guy or they think a guy's attractive or they want, they will overlook those those red flags on purpose. Oh Just yeah. Because yeah, and then it's like I don't see it, but you see it, you feel it, you you know exactly what it was when you got, it. but your value, your own personal value wasn't as high as what you thought this guy was worth. So you overlooked it because you think it was an opportunity and it, it never works out the other way. I mean, yes, it works out in the fact that horrible people do pretty well in this world. I mean, you know, you know, look at, you know, Trump and fucking uh, what's his name? What's the, the son-in-law's name is really just two billion dollars and Jared, Kushner. two billion dollars. And, and it's like you go. It's easy to say. Wow, look at these people who, man, they're just they're killing it, right? But I've never seen any of them happy. 
Yeah, they you ever noticed that it just never joy. Have, yeah, they have a soft bed, but they probably don't sleep too well. Yeah, yeah, and if they do, then they're sociopathic, which mm-hmm. also you know to 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 do the things that you do and not be affected by you got to be a sociopath, which doesn't which which gives you it doesn't give you the emotional acuity to feel goodness in the first place. So there's no there's no way around it. You know, it, That's I right. mean, it is. I mean, yeah, you, you make the money, but then you, you know, but then what? You know, I we, I did this thing that went viral on Instagram. I said, you know, it was uh, something that I say all the time. I said, you know, this was after the Will Smith slap. I said that Will Smith is worth five hundred million dollars, but he's in a in a in a in an infinity pool filled with his tears. <laughs> uh, living with a woman who hates his guts. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, in love and living with a woman that hates him, you know, um, you know, Johnny Depp is a hundred and we're 165 million and he's got a woman that's shitting on his pillow. You know, it's like you, you're, you know, it, it, there's really no way around it. Um, it, 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 there's no way around it. I mean, Harry, Harry was talking to me the other day about his, his, I was thinking about what you said, Harry, that about, um, you know, feeling, feeling this empathy for people when they're unhappy sure like yeah. um i have but, a big problem with not uh being affected by other people's unhappiness like uh yeah if, in a room if somebody's unhappy i can't just move on from that it affects me it makes me unhappy in a way and, and I, I, I think the empathy is that. good but i think the other thing is it's like what you said you can forgive somebody from a distance and sure. and understand that this this person, their toxicity or their 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 trauma is becomes your trauma based on the fact that you, they're in your vicinity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like depends on the relationship uh, between the people, and like if there's like a causal effect, you know, cause effect relationship between like what the emotions are. Like you know, a parent child relationship is different than Harry being in a room with like a friend who's going yeah. through a hard yeah. day. Like, and also I'll add like with my girlfriend, I remember uh, told me sort of early on, like sometimes if she is experiencing, if she is sad, like mm-hmm. it's it's not as helpful for. M- if I then become like, oh no, woe is woe is he, woe, woe is, is both of us. Uh, <laughs> but like, you know, that if I that you know, not not that I should like ignore it, not that I right, should right. just be like everything is fine, but to not and not not to be neutral either. It's like yeah. obviously every individual relationship has its own like dynamic right. and kind of you know guidelines that you build together or find together or share with each other. But that it was very useful to find out that that was so, so that I could be like, oh, like not, you know, try to help be there for her and, you know, and help her, help her feel better or yeah. be present with her while she was feeling the way that yeah. she's feeling. Like, I think, I think Harry, like, yeah, it's good for us to not ignore people's pain, to ignore That's people's true, suffering yeah. right. and to, and it doesn't make sense. Like we're all affected by each other. If we're not sociopaths, then we are yeah. impacted by, you know, by what we hear about, what we're next to, what people are telling us, what we're experiencing. Uh, so yeah, of course, it makes sense to see what people need. Then you know, yeah. in the moment, if we can, if we have the wherewithal and the capacity to care for them, or if they're somebody who has harmed us, then yeah, then you don't have to. Uh, yeah. You don't have to solve. We can't solve everyone's problems. So right. start start where you are with you know yourself, your circle, your family, your friends, your and then you know keep moving the circle as far out as you can. <laughs> yeah, I, I also think that I was thinking about this Harry because I, I, you know, will do that. Sometimes, you know, between um, trans women, it oh, will boy. have a conversation. Oh, <laughs> I guess. Ah, full circle. Full circle. It all comes From back. confusion to confusion. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll, he'll hit me up and say, man, I was thinking about this. And it's great that we have that kind of relationship that we sure, can, yeah. that, you know, he can. And and I think uh, I, 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 I was thinking about this, Harry, and I was like, just you. You know that old, you know, shame. Fool me once, shame on me, or shame on you, you. me. Fool me twice, shame on shame on you. Fool you twice. You know the George fool Bush me twice, Shame on me. Yeah, yeah. don't don't get shame. Get fooled much. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Um, and uh, but I I think when it becomes a pattern, when it becomes a pattern that somebody is using this kind of emotional uh, warfare to to gain attention 
based on a lack of based on trauma you know like yeah. people use that as a as a way for for the trauma and then i i think recognizing that this is manipulative at times or whether it is how authentic is it or is it manipulative um because you know, when you're righteous, your intentions are righteous. It's like you're you're going, hey man, if I if, if I felt like this, what you're really saying is, if I felt like this, I would want somebody to respond to me in this way. And uh, sometimes people are to be based on their own trauma. They're like, look, I I didn't get enough, I didn't get enough hug, hugs when I was little, and so I'm gonna use this as a manipulative way in order to gain attention all the time. And and I think that comes with don't come out, come out in the wash, comes out in the rinse. It just becomes obvious. And I think if you, if you just sit back and wait, the answers are revealed to you. Um, and when they're revealed to you, then you, you, you have to be like, you have to step back enough to go, okay, I, I see what this is. And, and, you know, I like, I, I do a lot of pruning of my pruning of the rose rosebushes, these people who, who I forgive and I'm not angry at because, but I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to risk my own peace of mind and my own happiness and stuff. Yeah. Like you, just, you only have a limited amount of time in a day and time in a life. And uh, we, the way that we are and feel really depend on the, the people and things that we, we put our energy into and, uh, and spend our time with. So it's always nice to hopefully be with people uh, that make us feel the way that we want to feel, make us be our best selves. And, yeah. uh, yeah. So I appreciate, I appreciate you guys. I do. I, we do appreciate you too. It's always, always a joy. Uh, I was watching you. I think you, did, what'd you do? Derek Gaines? Did you do Derek Gaines in the podcast? Uh, I've, I've, it's possible, but I'm not sure. Uh, not recently. I don't think, some, but maybe, well, so, yeah. uh, maybe some, uh, you were with somebody and they were trying to get you to say something, uh, so, oh, oh, what, that was what, on on Cypher and Will's podcast. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Will, and I, I just, I, I, oh god, I enjoyed it too. What much were they trying to get? What was the thing? I, they were trying to get. Mean. You know how they always want to get them, get somebody to say something, some account cancelable statement, and it I, was. Masterful. I'll send it to you. Yeah, it's on it my, was, it's on my Instagram. They, they just put it on Instagram, and so it's on. It's one of my most recent reels right it's, now. Yo, Harry, yeah. it's masterful the way Mike just tipped. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> it's 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 pretty easy for me to not murder someone uh, most of the time. <laughs> just so masterful. You just say, oh, I, I'm not going. Mm, ah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he just takes in the thought. Hmm, that's that's a, a friend of mine. <laughs> Uh, my friend Ray would do, will do this when I say something stupid. So yeah. my so you know how you say something silly to rile me up. That's me? my role. Okay. That's my role. <laughs> That's my role in my relationship with my friend Ray. <laughs> and so no matter how stupid it goes, it, he'll just go. Well, I guess that's one way to look at it. Like the, <laughs> <laughs> the dumber and sillier. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I'll go. Your dad got kicked out of the village, people, for making people uncomfortable. He was, you know, whatever. And uh, and he goes, well, that's one way to look at it. That's one way to, you know, just no matter how stupid it is, and that makes me laugh. Yeah, I get a, I get, I get a. What you call it? Called me today. Uh, uh, Joe DeRosa. I'm really close with Joe DeRosa and Keith Robinson. So they they call me in the morning to to just trash me about whatever the whatever's on their mind whatever they think is sure. <laughs> so classic call, friendship yeah. <laughs> they call me to because you know i'm doing i'm co-hosting uh i'm co-hosting uh godfrey's podcast with him as well and uh they call me up it goes keep you know because keeps had the stroke so keith can uh keith is uh you know he can't always speak as as strongly as he can right and he goes yeah uh, man uh, dante is Godfrey's Robin Quivers. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> and he's laughing so much that he can't catch his breath. And he goes, What do you want? I got a stroke. And we and then we 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 start, we go, listen, we're tired of hearing you about your two strokes. We're done. We don't want to hear about your dumb strokes. <laughs> But it's just always so much fun there. Um well, that's Mike, man, I love you, bro. It. Love you. I love you. It's Thank you, Dante. To, it's good to speak. I'm glad that you yeah. found somebody that makes you happy, bro. And and that's Thank you so much. That's you you deserve the absolute best, bro. I, I mean that. I uh, I appreciate you. Thank you, Harry. Always a pleasure to yeah, be here. Man. Thanks so much. Thanks um yo, it. Patreon people. 
I love y'all, man. Thanks for listening, yo. Please like and follow, share, all that good shit. And tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, it's what we need you to do to keep this going on. This The Patreon is the thing that helps us keep doing this. Thank you so much, yo. We are out. Sweet. Mike, thank you so much, Mike, man. Mike, so was dope, cool. man. Always oh. good to see you, man. Always, I say this always all so the time. It's just, we don't speak enough. <laughs> but I will. I'll be in touch about my podcast in the coming yeah. uh, in the coming chunks of time. I would love so. to do it, man. Yeah, I would love to do man. it. You know, so thank you. Yeah, you. absolutely. Cool. Well, have a good day, y'all. All right. I'll talk Tell to you later. Tell you, lady, soon. I said hello. Will Send do. Okay. All right. Later. Bye. See you. Later.